Mauritania is increasing its HIV clinics, especially in isolated areas, and heightening awareness for the disease, leading more people in the country to seek testing and treatment. We opened our first testing center at the beginning of 2003, and until 2005, we found few people coming. Then, in 2006, we got NGOs to start providing testing as well, and we began to promote mobile testing, which allows us to reach many more people. Mauritania's launching of the mobile testing centers across the country allowed a record 9,073 people to be tested in 2008, up from only a few thousand a year until then. The centers are part of a government AIDS prevention strategy established with World Bank grants. And at this HIV center in Nouakchott, the number of infected people seeking treatment has gone from 20 people per month in 2004 to 50 a month in 2010, many of them women. At the opening of the center, about one-third of the cases were women. Now we have almost half who are women. Mauritania's health officials say ignorance and fear of age remain major obstacles to preventing the disease in the traditionally conservative nation. We accompany testing with public awareness campaigns where we de-dramatize HIV and we emphasize that getting help is free of charge. Those are the messages we are sending out. The will, the political engagement, the infrastructure are there. What is needed now are the finances. It is a vast country and people dispersed across the country in isolated areas. Controlling the spread of HIV in Mauritania, say those involved, will require continued awareness, testing and treatment, and the resources to fund those.